All right, guys, here's the thing. Three of the questions I'm getting from a lot of you. Cheat days, refeed days, when you should have either one, what's the difference between the two. Also some convenient condiments and things that I use daily that you can actually implement into your daily nutrition plan. So I'm gonna go over everything in this video, all right? So hopefully this helps you follow along with your nutrition plans that you're on. Also, when I'm referring to a refeed day, I'm talking clean foods. You're about to see the difference in a minute. When we refer to a cheat day, sometimes you will hear me refer to that as a reward day. I just hate using the word cheat, all right? But at the end of the day, when you're working hard, busting your butt in the gym, you're eating great 80% of the time, it is okay to have an occasional cheat day. So you're rewarding yourself for all of your hard work. So reward day, cheat day are gonna be the same. Refeed day is something that's completely different. So that being said, let's get into the differences. All right, look and see everything in front of me. I'm about to break out a lot more stuff here in a minute as well. So when you guys tell me, hey man, I had a cheat meal, or can I have a cheat meal? We're talking about this kind of stuff. You're gonna see a lot of fast foods. We're talking pizza, burgers and fries, candy, cakes, Taco Bell, burritos, donuts, cookies. So any types of, you know what, let me throw in another one up here for you, ice cream. So this is what I consider a cheat meal. If you're gonna have one of these, it's a cheat meal. If you have two of these, you've had a full on cheat day. So that is huge, all right? So with you being able to visually see this, this is what I'm referring to. Throw in KFC, even though it's chicken, it's fried chicken that's breaded. So if you're talking fried chicken, anything like that is gonna be fast food, it's gonna be on this side of the table. Now a refeed day, we're moving on over here. So a refeed day, we're talking a giant spud potato. Typically when I tell you to eat complex carbs without weighing, measuring, anything like that, you're not gonna get one of these giant spuds, all right? This is saved for a refeed day. If you just love potatoes, throughout the week have a normal sized potato, which is about half this size. But on a refeed day, it's okay to eat that giant dude right there. All right, and we're about to go over a lot more stuff here, but I also wanna show you what you can have if you're wanting a cheat meal that's gonna taste just as good, but not give you the crappy feeling you're gonna get when you eat all of this processed food that's loaded with toxins and chemicals, all the crap that's gonna raise your estrogen levels, which is actually gonna make your testosterone levels go down, which is the last thing we want, all right? So let's go over some healthy refeeds. All right, so if we're talking to breakfast, instead of having the donuts, you'll see the donuts there. You may want that on a Saturday or something. Okay, it's okay to have it if you have earned a cheat day. Or you can have a breakfast like this. Let me move this stuff back out of the way. All right, so this is typically what I recommend on a refeed day. This is like two servings of oatmeal, pineapple. I love pineapple. You can have any kind of fruit. You can have even more fruit. You can have bananas any type of fruit that you want with this meal. Here's what I typically recommend if you're gonna have a refeed day though. Refeed, it's upping the carbohydrates. That's why you got double serving of oatmeal here, you've got some fruit. So we're cutting back on the fats. So I allow you to eat bacon with most of your meals throughout the week. On a refeed day, I've got turkey bacon. That's the only difference. Turkey bacon on a refeed day because you're trying to lower the fats when you're having the refeed. Refeed is getting your glycogen levels up, filling back up again, restoring your ghrelin and leptin levels. So everything that's gonna help you the next week going forward. But this is just one breakfast. Here's another awesome breakfast, man. Check this dude out. Big old stack of pancakes with some fruit. Walden syrup. This is one I'm, I was gonna share with you in a minute with my condiments and stuff. This is a pretty much zero calorie, no sugar, and it tastes great. 
So you can load these pancakes up with a lot of syrup and fruit and it tastes amazing. Also, if you want a whipped cream, Cool Whip sugar-free is the one I do. So the cool thing about this, it adds a good texture as well. And then whipped cream, man, it's a great sweet flavor. So you can add both of these and have an amazing breakfast. So you can have this and have this together on a refeed day. Just replace the oatmeal with the pancakes. If you have a gigantic appetite and you want both, eat both, but that's a ton of carbs, man. It's kind of hard to assimilate that many in one sitting. But these are some of the breakfast choices you can have on your refeed days as opposed to just getting a bunch of donuts or breakfast burritos or things like that that are very unhealthy. These are a lot better option. They taste great. You're going to feel great even after you eat them. So it's not going to set you back from your progress because at the end of the day, what happens is you have a great week. You've worked out hard. You've eaten great 80 to 90% of the time throughout the week. But then you go and you blow it with all of this crap over the weekend. And guess what? That everything that you did that week is pretty much shot, gone. You've got to start over the following week. So you don't need that. All right. Here's another thing I will show you. Let me move this yummy looking meal. Oh, one other thing I do want to show you with this. Oatmeal. Basically the oatmeal I use still cut oats. That's what I use when I'm making just standard oatmeal. Okay, so I use that and I will do a tablespoon of grass-fed butter, cinnamon, and Truvia. So Truvia, another really good sweetener, but put all of these together. You can even throw in a little bit of almond milk and it tastes amazing, all right? So almond milk, some grass-fed butter, Truvia, and cinnamon. Great oatmeal and it makes a great addition to this meal. All right, let me clear room for another one. We're talking about you guys having a cheat and you go all out and get a pizza. If you want a pizza, eat a pizza, okay? I'm not gonna tell you not to ever eat that, but if you're still in the middle of your journey, you're still making progress, you're doing great, you're not really craving really bad foods, but you know you need more calories, then you can go for like one of my homemade pizzas. Those are really good as well. This is the thin crust uh, pepperoni. You can also add any kind of veggie you want to this. Veggies, mushrooms, you can add hamburger, uh, beef. You can add any kind of meat that you want to this. All right, at the end of the day, basically what I do when I make that, move this, I use a Flat bread that's a little bit lower on the carbs. So this whole thing has 25 carbs. 25 carbs, you got some protein there, but the main thing is keeping the carbs a little bit lower. I'm not concerned with the fats. You actually want good healthy fats. So that's where the cheese, man. Load up on some mozzarella cheese and turkey pepperonis is what I use on mine. But like I said, you can do beef, you can do mushrooms, you can do beef mushrooms, tons of veggies. Whatever you like on this, just add it to the pizza. So the one thing I will tell you not to add to this pizza is like pineapples. You don't want to add the, the uh, high glycemic carbs. Where are my pineapples, man? You don't want to add the pineapples, the high glycemic carbs to a bunch of fat. It's usually one or the other. That's why I'm saying my refeed days, you're cutting back down on the fats and you're upping the complex carbohydrates or in this case, high glycemic carbs. All right, so that's the pizza. That's the amazing pizza. Let's clear more room. All right, I'm gonna show you a couple more things. Here's another thing. These pancakes can be eaten. Let's go back to the pancakes. The pancakes and the oatmeal, I've used two different types of oatmeal. These are my protein pancakes. My protein pancakes, I use rolled oats. So here's what I do with my protein pancakes. A lot of you guys have asked about my recipe. I will share the recipe. I shared it with a few of you guys. I will share the recipe, but also I just want you to see the visual of what I use. Rolled oats. I use a vanilla based protein. I like IsoPure. Just make sure it's a whey protein isolate. That's my favorite one. You can use Dimatize. There's a lot of different uh, brands that are really good, but IsoPure vanilla. 
and then egg whites. All right, here's the thing when it comes to egg whites. So I use uh, a regular egg white. I'm a little bit more on the lazy side. I like convenience. So you can crack open your eggs and get the egg whites out and use the egg whites. Here's the thing. If you've been watching my videos, you know I am a big proponent of egg yolks. The fat in the eggs help raise testosterone levels. So typically if you're doing eggs throughout the week, you always want the egg yolks. I'm always going to tell you to eat the egg yolks, all right? But what I'm doing with this, this is a refeed day. So going back to what I said earlier, if you're having a refeed day, it's all about getting a ton of carbs. You've got bananas, strawberries, pancakes. You want the carbs, but you want to lower the fats. That's why you're cutting out the egg yolks with this meal. So one more time, this is just rolled oats, egg whites. I actually use flavored egg whites. You can just use standard egg whites. And if you want a little bit more flavor, then again, go back to some Truvia. It's a good natural sweetener, actually. You can use Truvia. And uh, the vanilla in the protein actually adds a little flavor as well. So that's what you can do with those. And these taste amazing. So these are my protein pancakes. Again, if you do them, just lower the fats when you're doing that. All right, now we're making our way through some of this stuff. Here's another thing, this is part of my pizza. So what I do with my pizzas, I think I showed you the flatbread. I showed you the flatbread, showed you pepperoni, showed you some of the other things you can have, the mozzarella. But also you just need a lower calorie pizza sauce. This is Great Value, which is a Walmart brand, all right? Basically what I do when I look for stuff, most of the flavor comes from the toppings anyways. I'm a big sauce person, uh, but at the end of the day, when you put a lot of cheese, meat on top of it, that's usually what you taste. That's where the flavor comes from, but this one is about three grams of carbs uh, per serving. That's what I look for. I look for the lower amount of carbs when you're doing the actual pizza sauce. Okay, so let's get that down here. Going back to refeeds again, I'm asked about pasta. Yes, I love pasta on my refeeds. The kind I do is a Barilla Protein Plus. Again, I'm all about protein, man. I like to get things in my body that have even more protein than the typical. The typical spaghetti is not gonna have very much protein in it. But this has a lot of protein, but it also has a lot of good complex carbs. So the sauce I use for a lot of the guys that have been asking, I'm more of a flavor guy, so you'll see spicy tomato basil. This is what I do with my pasta. Here's what I recommend with pasta though. Again, if you're having pasta, pasta and it's a refeed day, eliminate the fats. Basically, don't go with actual beef meatballs unless it's super lean beef. Or you can do turkey meatballs or just turkey as the meat base for the meat sauce. So if you do that, it's 99% fat free. So you can have a lot of meat with your sauce when you do that. But again, don't go adding sausage. Don't go adding really high fatty beef to the sauce because that kind of defeats the purpose. Because again, one more time, don't go super high carbs and super high fats. So it's one of the other usually. All right, so there's that. Quinoa, same thing. It's another thing you can have a ton of quinoa. If you like the texture, that's the one thing about quinoa that you'll notice. The texture is a little bit different. My wife loves the quinoa. I'm eh, so-so on the quinoa. I can eat it if I have to. But if you like quinoa on a refeed day, typically on a refeed, you want to triple the serving size. Usually you have a single serving on your complex carb days. If you guys are following my stuff, then you know it's a carb cycling. So carb cycling on my complex carb days, usually one serving. I will show you what that means. All right, let me move this quinoa over here with this meal here. All right, so all of you guys know that when I tell you to portion out your meal for your complex days, if you're doing a resistance training days, this is what you can eat. But you got about a third of this serving here. This is three full cups of rice. I always tell you guys, go ahead and load up the protein. You can even have two chicken breasts if you wanted. Tons of veggies if you want, but about one cup of rice. This is what I refer to as a refeed meal. 
refeed meal, just a regular chicken breast. You don't need as much protein because again, we're refeeding, we're trying to get more complex carbs. So three cups of rice, and I've added pineapples to this to get even more complex carbs. So to get even more carbohydrates. So again, what you're doing with your refeed days is just refueling, repairing, replenishing, getting a ton of complex carbs back in your body and you're gonna feel a whole lot better for it. So a lot better eating this compared to this, okay? So if you go out and say, hey, I'm gonna refeed and have a cheat meal, if you eat this, okay, you're gonna feel like crap. It may taste great, it's gonna taste great going down, but you're gonna feel like crap, I promise you. Not only are you gonna feel bad physically, you're not gonna have the same energy to fuel your intense workout the next day or two. It takes a few days for this to process through your body. So it's just not the proper fuel for your body, especially when you can have something like this. But don't let me, keep you from ever eating this again. You can still have some of this stuff. One thing I don't have here to show you is you can have a homemade burger, really a lean meat, whatever size meat you want, really good patty, and you can add cheese to it and homemade fries. So I've shared my homemade fry recipe with a lot of you guys. If you add that to this meal, then it tastes amazing, but you're eliminating a ton of trans fats. All right, so now we have, you saw two clean meals. Let me bring them up again just because they look so amazing. Look at those, man. So good, healthy meals. And they're sitting here getting old. They're ready for me to eat them. All right, and then my pizza. All right, let me show you some other things I do for my breakfast. So for my breakfast, again, I touched on the turkey bacon. I eat turkey bacon on a refeed day only. If it's not a refeed day, then let's go straight up regular bacon, man. All right, I love just center cut bacon. You'll notice there's a lot of red here though. There's a lot of red, very little white. You still don't wanna just eat a ton of fat just because you can. So I still like to keep the protein high, the fat a little bit lower. But the center cut bacon is what I will do typically throughout the week. The other cool thing that I do with this, you know what, let me show you one other thing that you can add. Turkey sausage links. I use these a lot with my breakfast meals and uh, those taste amazing. So what these little dudes look like. Little bitty sausage links, but they are wonderful with your eggs. All right, but now let me show you what I do with this. A lot of you guys have already seen my green bean recipe. Basically what we're doing, let me break that down for you real quick, these bell peppers. All right, let me grab these. Big old bag of green beans. All right, so again, like I've mentioned in my videos, I'm not a huge veggie guy. I don't really like the broccoli, asparagus, cauliflower. Wish I did, but I just don't. But I love green beans, all right? I love green beans and I like green leafy salads. So what I will do with my green beans, a bag about this size, if you do half, then you need about a half and then about a half of an onion. But this is a large bag. So what I will do, two bell peppers, all right? Red, I love the red ones, and then an onion cut up in, in this, and about five pieces of regular bacon. Cut this stuff up and put it all in a crock pot and let it cook on low. And man, at the end of the day, it's going to be amazing. And that helps with your prep. Once it's done, just put it up in a good container and you can just get as much as you want with each of your meals. So that's the cool thing about these green beans. So I know, again, I've shared my recipe with you guys, but. I just wanted you to get a visual of what actually goes into it. And then season salt, that's it, season all, season salt. You do those, you're gonna be thanking me later. Tastes great. All right, move this and moving along. All right, we're getting close, guys. All right, here, let me move this out of the way. Another thing I'm gonna show you, ice cream. Ice cream is huge, everybody wants their cheats. All right, so let's get this cheat crap here, over there. That is cheat. That's a cheat, all right? You want bad ice cream? Get whatever kind of ice cream you want. You're gonna fill it later. Here's a thing I will tell you. All right, this one thing. If you eat this serving, uh, if you eat the whole thing, it's 141 grams. 141 grams is the serving size of this. You're getting 57 grams of fat and 134 grams of carbs. That is a lot, 108 of those are sugars. Okay, so 
Let me just repeat that. 141 grams, 57 grams of fat, and 134 carbs. All right. Here's two other options. This one here, and I'll, I'll explain the difference in a minute. Carb Smart is, you can have this throughout the week. Here's what we're looking at. Two servings of this is 160 grams. Again, 141 grams. Two servings of this will be 160 grams. Two servings will give you 12 grams of fat, which is a lot more serving size than this. 12 grams compared to 57 grams. And the carbs will be 34 compared to 134. So you see the huge difference. Okay, so if you're wanting ice cream, just make a better choice. Don't go with the worst choice you can possibly make. And typically what I do with ice creams though, I like to keep it more of the standard flavors, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, Neapolitan, stuff like that. Because the more stuff you start putting into these, the more the fats go up, the more the sugar content goes up. All right, but they still taste really good. This is a extra creamy vanilla. The thing with this one, it's even lower in fat. So basically what I recommend these for, high carb days. If you're going with a high carb day, you really wanna up those sugars. You really wanna up the just carbs in general. So you can have three servings of this and you're only getting 12 grams of fat. Three servings and only 12 grams of fat. So that's what I want you to realize on a it's okay to go up in carbs, go high, but keep the fats lower. So this would be for a refeed day. Throughout the week, you want the fats to be constant, but you want the carbs to be lower. That's why this is a carb smart one. Carb smart, you can have this throughout the week. Couple servings, you're gonna be fine. Okay, you're gonna do great. So again, better choice, bad choice. Better, bad choice, right here. These are gonna be good. All right. Another one, and one of my wife's favorite actually, you see the cake over here, which my son's probably gonna tear this up here in a little bit. That's gonna be his cake. But this cake or these, I know, I know, you may be thinking these are not near as good as strawberry shortcake, but sugar-free Cool Whip, all right? Let me show you this. Two tablespoons, which will be on each one of these, is only three grams of carbs. So you can eat probably four of these cakes, load them up with the whipped cream, and load them up with the strawberries as much as you want. That's gonna give you a, it's gonna satisfy that sweet craving. You're gonna feel a lot better after eating this compared to eating a big slice of this, all right? If you eat a slice of this, like I said, it's gonna taste amazing going down, but you're going to pay for it later. Keep that in mind. So that's one of the other big things I like to show you is there's awesome alternatives to just eating bad. You can do a lot of cool things at home. All right, now let's see. I think we touched on most. Those of you guys that asked about the condiments that I do, let me show you some of the condiments. I already showed you the zero calorie syrup that I use. Steak sauce. Here's a sugar-free steak sauce, which tastes amazing. So basically this is, one carb and there's nothing else in this. So you don't add hardly anything when you do that. Sugar-free teriyaki marinade. Again, one carb per serving and that's it. No fat, nothing. So you can put your chicken breast in this, allow it to marinate for 24 hours, throw it on the grill, man, and it's amazing. All right, so really, really good stuff. Barbecue sauce we both like. Another sugar-free. You'll notice the brand is the same. There's probably others out there. These are just the ones I've tried and I love the flavor of. Sweet and spicy. He's got like four or five different flavors of barbecue sauce. Sweet and spicy is my favorite. So only two grams of carbs with each, uh, two tablespoons each serving, which is nothing. So those are great. All right, we're going. Dressings that I use. This is something I told some of you guys I would be sharing with you. These are two of my favorites. And the oil here, I always tell you guys extra virgin olive oil, but these I found that have avocado oil add really good flavor. So basically, you don't want the canola oil, you don't want the vegetable oil, you don't want the soybean oil. Look for the extra virgin olive oil 
or avocado oil. Those are really good oil sources as a base for a dressing. This Italian dressing and the balsamic vinaigrette, two of my favorites. These are really, really good. All right, let me keep those out so you can see them. All right, another thing, convenience. A lot of you guys are talking about craving sodas. If you're a soda person, all right, here's the thing. You've got regular, straight up Dr. Pepper, full of sugars, man. 66 carbs, 65 of those are sugars in one bottle. So keep that in mind. If you have to have one, a zero, zero sugar. So I'm not telling you to completely eliminate sodas. I mean, I get it. At the end of the day, we're human, man. We still have our cravings. Just make a better choice, better than the 66 grams of sugars. A lot of zero calorie stuff is really good. I like the zero calorie Gatorade. I'll do that as well. That's another really good one. And proteins. You saw the protein that I like, isopure or dimatize. Those are two really good ones. This is the one I typically use. It's a smaller bag, so I typically use the vanilla for my pancakes. Uh, if we're making drinks, uh, protein drinks, protein shakes, it's more of a chocolate base. I'll do the dimatized chocolate. But for mixing with food and stuff, I like the vanilla. So that's why that's here. These little core power drinks, a lot of you guys are looking for convenience. 42 grams of, let me show you, I guess you can see it there. 42 grams of protein. And man, it's very convenient and it tastes just like chocolate milk. It tastes like a treat. So that's like chocolate milk. Another thing I do on refeed days that's a lot healthier. Let me clear some of this out now. Running out of room here. Told you I was gonna hook y'all up. I was gonna give y'all a lot of cool things. Let's keep it separated. Rice cakes. This is a caramel flavor. So again, we're talking refeed days. You can get five or six of these things, and what I like to do is I'll put a little natural peanut butter on on those, and then a sugar-free spread, strawberry or grape. Those are my two favorite. I will put those on several of these and just go to town, man. Those taste wonderful. It's a great treat as opposed to, again, eating like a cookie that's going to make you feel like crap. Eating a couple cookies. You can just go with the healthier options and they still taste great. Another free food. You guys that know I always preach free veggies. Craving stuff. If you like pickles, man, eat those dudes up. If I'm just craving something, I just feel like eating something, I'll eat two or three of those and it satisfies me. I'm happy. I, I also like tuna, not, you know, canned tuna. I don't recommend it to everybody. The bioavailability of the protein isn't near as high as some other sources. However, it's very convenient and I love it because I'm just a plain tuna guy. I don't like the mayonnaise. If you're one of those that likes it, but you have to have mayonnaise in it, then I don't even recommend it. But if you can just straight up eat that and eat pickles, then that's a great, great snack. Protein and nothing else. You're going to get some good. And again, I love the pickles. I always call these my, my free snacks. So it tastes really, really good. All right. Now, I think we're done on this side. I think we've covered pretty much everything here. All the foods. I don't think I'm missing anything. Basically, that's what I wanted to show you all. Now, you see the difference. Very, very unhealthy. You're not going to feel very good. It's not going to fuel anything you're doing. It's going to set you back. Everything on this side. And you can add every kind of fast food to this side. If you like fast food, like I said, the KFC, the Arby's, the McDonald's, the Burger King, Wendy's, all of that's going to be on this side. All right. Everything else on this side are really good choices. Also, a bread that I like. Uh, I mentioned to a couple of you guys, Dave's Killer Bread. There's a few different versions. Uh, you've got the yellow, the green. They just have different types of multigreens. And the cool thing about this is two of these little slices of bread are only 20 because you've got three grams of fiber. So you're getting 20 grams of carbs and that's it. 20 grams of carbs in two of these slices of bread. So you can have two pieces of toast with your breakfast as well and it's not going to hurt you. You're getting a lot of vitamins, minerals, multigrains. So good benefits from that. But Dave's Killer Bread is one of the ones I do. I usually recommend Ezekiel for everybody, but I'm finding out a lot of people can't access Ezekiel Bread. They can't find it at their health food stores and stuff, especially some of you guys that live in smaller towns. So I did have one guy tell me he's got to drive an hour and a half to get Ezekiel Bread. So this is another good source, something like this, good multigrain bread. And there's also good gluten-free bread for some of you guys that can't have gluten. 
So there's some good gluten-free choices out there. If gluten's not an issue, then obviously you're gonna have a lot more options with this and with the pizza breads and with all of those things. But if gluten is an issue, then just make sure you're getting a gluten-free bread and try to keep the carbs a little bit lower and you're gonna get great results. But hopefully all is just sitting here staring at me. So I'm a big peanut patty guy. My son and I love these. My wife usually on Christmas, uh, throughout Christmas holidays, will make these homemade. So these are usually really good. She didn't do it this past year, so I feel kind of like I need to eat one. But here's one last thing I will leave you with. If you feel like cheating and you have one of these cheat meals, then realize it's not going to destroy everything that you've already done. It's going to set you back. I'm not going to lie. All right, that's what happens. But if you just need it for your sanity, if you just need it to continue to be motivated, then eat it. Okay, at the end of the day, that's what I want you guys to know. You're doing great 80% of the time, then you're gonna be fine to do this. So again, I've got three kids. We'll still have pizza days, man. We'll have pasta days, we'll have pasta dinners and stuff. So it's okay to do that. Just realize that come Monday or come Tuesday, the day after you do that, just get right back to what you were doing before. Don't allow that to derail all the progress because that typically happens to a lot of people. You eat something and there's a lot of things in it that have addictive properties. So right after this, you're gonna want something sweet. You're gonna have something sweet, then you're gonna want something salty. You're going back and forth between this crap. And the next day you wake up and you're like, man, I already did that, so I might as well have something today. So that's what happens, it starts snowballing. But if you can control yourself and you can have any one of these stuff or any one of these things, you're going to be fine as long as you're mentally prepared to go right back to work the next day or the day after. Go right back to your workouts. Go right back to good eating habits. Then you're going to be fine. All right. So again, I hope, hope, hope this helps you out. If you have any questions about this, man, just let me know. You, you got my information. Leave me a comment. Send me an email, whatever you have to do, let me know. If you got a question about something specific, let me know that as well. But other than that, man, enjoy this more than you enjoy that, but it's okay to enjoy this occasionally. God bless.